I want to talk about something that is very, very important. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 11 and 14. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Many people have seen angels and demons. Many people have seen angels, but they really were demons in disguise. Anytime a spirit wants to contact you or take you somewhere, make sure that you test out that spirit first. What do I mean? The name of Jesus is very, very powerful, extremely powerful. If a demon was to say the name of Jesus, it will be in agony. So what you should do is have those spirits say the name of Jesus Christ. If they don't want to, if they disappear, if they get angry, more than likely, they are demons. So keep this in mind. I'm pretty sure if they are angels or spirits of God, I don't think they will be offended if you ask them, to say the name Jesus Christ. I don't think so. Okay. Let's go to 1 John. 4th chapter. Verse 1. Okay. Beloved. Believe not every spirit. But try the spirits. Whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. I know that this section here is talking about false prophets, but it pertains to what I want to speak of as well. Verse 2. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Listen to this right here. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. So if a spirit is able to confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, it is a spirit of God. Demons aren't able to do this. Like I replied earlier, demons cannot say the name of Jesus Christ. They can't do it. Because there is so much power in the name of Jesus. Okay, verse 3. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. Do you guys understand this? So if a spirit comes to you and they aren't able to say the name Jesus Christ and they can't confess or confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, then you know that it is a demon and it is not a spirit of God. Does this make any sense? It really should. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come. And even now already is it in the world. So as you guys can see, it is really simple to identify a demon from an angel or a spirit from God. 
Don't judge a spirit from its appearance. As you can see, demons and angels can change their appearance. So keep this in mind and take heed to this as well. God bless.